Hey, Pastor Jamal here, Rising Ground Church. Here's a, 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 a faith nugget or a faith jewel along your path. Um, if you're anything like me, I loved how science and faith kind of uh, interacted. Um, a part of my journey, it, there came a time where God was really allowing me to connect the dots with faith in and science I'm not I'm not like a science guy but I, I, I like how the mind is understood as it relates to or how faith and science is understood as it relates to to the mind I hope that makes sense um, but sometimes that could be dangerous and as we are you know on our this faith journey as far as you know, we're, we're just we're trying to give you tools and we're trying to give you strategies and really um, things to understand about faith as it relates to your life and your walk and what God is requiring of you. But sometimes we can get um, we can get fo so focused on a scientific situation where science explains something that faith has, you know, given us. But what happens is if we get it, well, I say this, there, there's a term that said it's demystifying something that's mystical. So say you've heard or you've had a truth um, that was kind of supernatural to, to you and someone from the science field or whoever, they, they gave you an understanding of that thing and they demystified it. The problem with demystifying a lot of things that are supernatural in our uh, understanding per se is when you remove the supernatural from it then you remove the element of faith it takes faith to please God remember you cannot God cannot move on your behalf without faith so you have to take a step that's unknown it's uncomfortable you don't recognize it from your human perspective and it's those moments that create the breakthrough so when you demystify something that is you have you have known to be supernatural per, per se then you remove the element of faith out of it and then god can't move he's gonna he's gonna have to find something else for you to um have faith for to uh um to, to you know you gotta you gotta walk the fear out it's okay to have fear we just don't let fear drive us but those moments are what produce that thing, man, that rich, powerful moment where God really moves on our circumstances on our behalf. So I hope that made sense. Again, if you are a person who are look, you're looking for a scientific answer, you like um, the what, what is that? It was a term called the science of the mind. If you, if you like any of that kind of stuff, it's fine, but don't let it strip away your faith because then you remove God from intervening on your behalf. Pastor Jamal Rousey, we're on church. I'll talk to you. Peace.